sans la corde, je trouvais ça. And I remember leaving there thinking very simply, this is my daughter. The point was, what could I have done, what could we do to change her life? So that really is heart as well as head. Yeah. There's no excuse for the way you acted last night. Who had written off her life and had no aspirations so and no self worth. She was the product of the system. I'm not listening to oh, you. Their tax credits, that's working families no at the same time as millionaires are getting a £40,000 tax credit. That is what's unfair. Most new claimants of housing benefit are in work, they don't have enough money so to pay extortionate rents. If we built housing in this country, we'd bring down the welfare bill, stimulate the economy, and create jobs. But there is a point as well that has to be made about the treatment of disabled people in this country. And there are two names I just want to give Ian, and if there's anything he remembers, is this. Brian McArdle, 57 years old, paralysed down one side, blind in one eye, he couldn't speak. He died one day after being found fit for work by ADOS. Another example, Karen Sherlock. Hang on a second, what we've heard a lot from you. Let me tell you that. news for you, the feeling is shared. And I remember leaving there thinking very simply, this is my daughter. But you ain't coming back, you're walking a cold, lonely road. And you ain't prepared. So go, pack your bags. I'm not listening. What was, what could I have done, what could we do to change her life? So that really is heart as well as head. It is a worry, Minister, though, isn't it? Because I'm sure you'd agree that with the levels of sanctioning that we are seeing, hundreds of thousands of people who can have their benefits stopped for a minimum of four weeks, and then approximately a quarter from the initial uh, research that I've seen are just disappearing, they're leaving, and we don't know if they're getting into work. That's an absolute indictment on this government's uh, policy. And it's a little bit worrying if we're trying to tout it internationally as a real success story. Well, can I just say I don't agree with any of that. Uh, it's not a surprise to you. Uh, I actually believe the sanctions regime as applied uh, is fair. You always get the odd case and... Uh, die well, well, let, let, let me finish. No, I don't. And I remember leaving there thinking very simply, this is my daughter. I'm sorry, I'm quite emotional about that.